So to get right into this transformation, we're going to come in with our one and a half guard lever all the way closed and knock down the sides. And you're going to see, especially towards the hairline, I have to go against the grain in a lot of different directions because her hairline grows in a lot of different directions. So I'm going downwards, I'm going to the side, I'm going upwards until we get that knocked down all the way. Now we're going to go to the back and do the same exact thing with our one and a half guard pretty self-explanatory i'm gonna let you guys watch while i take down the rest of it i thought i was just gonna let you guys watch it but you'll see especially towards the top of the disconnected area a lot of the times i put my comb there and that's just to prevent nicking any of the hair sticking out on the bottom of the braids because you know i mean i seem like a lot but if you nick those looking those can loosen up the braid and then eventually if you keep doing that over and over her part line will become more uneven so you want to make sure you don't cut into that disconnection area and you'll see where her hairline grows in a lot of different directions on this side as well so now to get into the taper i'm going to start but with my uh, clipper closed at the end of her eyebrow and where the ear connects to the head and i'm going to give it that nice round shape now I'm going to follow it up with the shaver to get it even closer to the skin. And then right under that, I'm going to use my Uno foil shaver to bought it out super close to really make this taper last and pop. Now we're going to come in lever all the way open on our clipper, still maintaining that same shape. And we're going to go up about a finger's width here. This will be the simplest taper that you guys will ever do since we're only blending into a one and a half length. So now to get rid of the line in between, I'm going to come in closed and then gradually open up that lever. Now we're going to come in with our one guard lever all the way open. And this should pretty much blend into that one and a half. So I'm just trying to make sure that I transition nicely and especially around the ear, it kind of grows backwards. So I'm going against the grain there. Now we're going to go ahead and close that one guard and we're going to start tapping at this line. Now it's not going to get rid of it fully. So I am going to come in with my half guard lever open or halfway and work at this line using the corner of my blade. And you'll see as we do that, this taper will come together very nicely. Now we're going to go ahead and do the back taper, doing the same thing, establishing our bald line. But we're going to do this a little below the bottom of the ear. Now we're going to flip that trimmer around and bald it out. Then as you would guess it, we're going to come in with our shaver just to give, you know, another layer to that blend and make her haircut last. And I really like this foil shaver when it comes to tapers because we work in such a small area. Now we're going to go lever all the way open, going up about a finger's width, and we're doing, going straight across with it. Now we're going to go ahead and close it. And as we move up within this guideline, you'll see me go ahead and open up that lever until we get this fully blended out. So right here I'm halfway and I'm almost all the way open and then right here I believe I'm all the way open then we're gonna come in with our one guard closed and we're gonna inch up so on the sides I went one guard open and blend it down and now we're gonna go one guard closed and then open it up little by little same exact thing just in the opposite way and this one guard open should blend right into that one and a half Now for that last line, we're going to come in with our half guard halfway and just tap this line until they get rid of it. 
super simple taper into the one and a half not a lot of steps not a lot of you know lines that we have to create this taper probably took me like two three minutes now we're gonna go to the other side and do the taper on her left temple so I'm coming in with that lever closed and then following it up with our trimmer and then our shaver and sometimes I like to create my line first with that clipper closed because it just makes it a lot easier to get rid of it. Then we're going to come in lever open. Staying real consistent, real patient. And with her tapers, I like to come a little behind the ear just because it tends to build up a lot of weight back there. And this gives her a taper that lasts and grows in nicely. Then as you would guess it, we're gonna do a one guard open, blending right into that one and a half that we knocked down the sides to. And you can see where it gets really dense behind the ears, so I'm making sure I lower that. Now we're gonna close that one guard, and you'll see on this side with this one guard closed, it really makes the taper look complete, but there's still a faint line that I'm gonna come in with my half guard. Halfway, and we're gonna use the corner to tap at that light line. And now where everything is really going to come together is in the lineup. So I'm super excited to show you guys that. And there was still a faint line, so I'm using the corner of my trimmer to go ahead and tap it out. And now for the lineup behind the ear, I like to start at the top of the ear and then go to the bottom and meet those two points in the middle. And what this is gonna allow you to do is get that nice shape around the ear without you know digging into it too much. And you can see, man, it makes that taper pop and look complete. Now we're gonna go to the other side and do the same thing. Being careful not to take that part behind the ear too high. And yes, my trimmers are zero gapped. Cause I know someone was wondering that. And if you want to purchase these trimmers, the Stylecraft Saber trimmers, the link will be in the description. Now we're going to get into the front lineup. So for the front lineup, we're going to start with her arches. So we're going to go to the top of the arch and then to the bottom and meet those two points in the middle. And this is going to help me to get that nice arch shape. And her hairline has a lot of extra hair growth so it's gonna look like we're taking off too much but to, but in order to get that nice clean lineup we have to take off those excess hairs which i'm doing right here so we're not taking off any more hair than we need to so on this side we don't have as much hair to take off so we're starting at the top and then going to the top uh bottom and then going to the top of that arch and meeting it in the middle And you'll see, especially on the front hairline, her hair growth is crazy. So we're going to have to take off some hair in order to give it that nice, sharp, symmetrical look. Now we're going to line up her box parts, her vertical bars, I mean. And then we're going to go to the middle and move to either the right or left side, whichever you're more comfortable with. And the reason I lined up her arches and vertical bars first is because it's going to make it a lot easier to get that front line up symmetrical. So now we're moving towards her left side, keeping it as natural as possible. But obviously, since she has so much hair growth, we have to dig into it a little bit. And as you can see, man, this lineup is looking clean. So for all you trolls in the comments, man, if you say I pushed it back, you will get punched. It's like, nah, I'm playing. But I know someone's going to be in the comments like, oh my God, he pushed her back. Listen. All that extra hair growth was not going to allow her to get that nice, sharp, symmetrical hairline that, you know, we all want. So you have to cut that off. You have to.
and we are gonna enhance it to give it that nice you know instagram finished look and this is a kiss express and alcohol mix in my airbrush so we're spraying it on lightly and then if we believe it needs to be darker we'll go ahead and spray on more now we're spraying the front lineup and as you can see man this is coming together very nicely now we're gonna go ahead and lean her back get into the razor work and before i do the razor i wanted to take it down with my shaver since she had so much hair growth and this is going to help uh, cause less irritation because it's already knocked down very low. So now we're just stretching the skin in the opposite direction of which we're using the razor to get this line up super sharp and crisp. And you can see, man, with this razor, it takes the line up to a whole nother level. Gets rid of all those little hairs that we cut off same thing on the other side yeah that's pressure I'm not gonna lie this haircut is straight pressure with the braids too come on talk to me nice but fam this is how we she came in looking Definitely needed a clean up and we went ahead and got it together with a nice taper and lineup family. If this video helped you in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this haircut. But like always, I will catch you guys next time.